holiday on the side of the road with a car that no. doesn't work. So and in this sun, absolutely mm -hmm. not. Yeah, it's going to be hot this weekend. Rain chances starting to try and creep in by the middle of Praying. next week. Yeah, it's in the mid 90s right now. No rain in sight as far as the eye can see. We've got mainly clear skies, a heat index of 107. The dew point is the number we're constantly talking about with respect to humidity. On the most oppressive days, this was up around 80, if not a little bit more. So just a five degree drop in that dew point translates to about a 10 to 15 degree drop on the heat index, given that temperature reading of 95. Nonetheless, all of these beautiful, vibrant colors on the map representing heat related advisories or warnings. No rain for most of the state and most of the state is cooking. Lots of triple digits as far north as the Panhandle 101 in Amarillo right now. The edge of the heat we were talking about going away today. That's because the high pressure that's been right over top of Texas is starting to slide a little bit farther to the east, and that is a trend that will continue over the weekend, and then it'll get farther to the east come next week. And with that movement, it's going to open up the coastal bend to the Gulf of Mexico and a little uptick in tropical moisture. That moisture is going to be coming in uh, from the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico, those darker shades of green working in. And again, by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, with that increased moisture, I think we'll have some showers and storms floating around. I don't think it's going to be organized stuff, but there'll be pop ups. Some are here, some are there, but they're not everywhere. And some of that may start as early as Tuesday, although I think most of the 4th of July weekend I'm going to just be hot with a mix of sun and clouds by the 4th. It's not going to be a huge chance, but an isolated rain shower will be possible. It's not enough to really start thinking about changing plans if you have any outdoors, but with that moisture coming in, we're going to have to start talking about the possibility of a little rain here. No issues in the tropics. The remnants of Cindy out there, uh, it's not going to be a concern for Texas. Tonight, 78, mainly clear. Southeast breeze, 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 96 with the heat index of 111. That's closer to what we typically would observe uh, for the late parts of June, early July. Still very hot. Southeast wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. There will be some chop on the water and the rip current risk will be elevated. So if that trend continues with the rip current risk being higher, given this is a very popular weekend for people at the beach, temperatures are hot. You'll just want to be extra cautious getting into the water. Heat index values 107 to 114 over the next seven days. That seems high, but when you think of between 115 and 125, that's a pretty substantial difference and hopefully you can feel it. I know my wife got up this morning and she commented to me. She wanted to go on a run saying, hey, it feels a little nicer outside. Wow. So uh, her humidity detection is superior. <laughs> we need to get a radar named yeah. in her honor we'll then. We'll go put it at the Holt House. Yeah. Bring awesome. her onto the set. <laughs> yeah, all right. Alan, thank you. Still to come.